Imagine walking into your next assistant principal interview, not with just confidence, but with a game plan so tailor-made to your strengths that the panel has to sit up and take notice. Today, we're going to do a deep dive into leveraging your strengths in preparation for your next assistant principal interview. So grab a pen, a piece of paper, get ready to take some notes because we're starting right now. Hey everybody, Gordon Emerson here, Superintendent of Schools and Gallup Certified Strengths Coach. And on this channel, we leverage my experience from classroom teacher to school district superintendent to help you go further faster in your educational journey. If this is your first time with us, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification so you don't miss any cool updates or any of our newest episodes. Leveraging your strengths is a game changer. Knowing, understanding, and investing in your natural gifts and talents is the fastest way to get your next promotion, to get your dream job, to impact kids, impact communities, and just do good for the world. So today we're gonna to talk about how do we take and harness our strengths from strategic to analytical to achiever to woo, how do we take these strengths and how do we leverage them so when we get into the interview, until we get into that high intensity and that high anxiety moment of being in an interview, I can go to my natural gifts and my natural talents to not only impact the panel, but also show them why they want me to be the next leader on their campus, the next leader within their school district. So get ready, because we're going to jump in to our first strategy on leveraging your strengths for your next assistant principal interview. Let's get started. All right, strategy number one, you want to be able to identify and articulate your strengths and leadership context. It's really, really important to first and foremost understand that your strengths and the environment, the circumstance, or the situation that you're in will call for context and will call for you to be able to decipher which of my strengths is best for me to tap into right now. This is a high level strategy because being able to tap into those strengths at the right time in the right moment is you operating at a very, very high level. So when we think about this, let's give you some specific examples. For instance, if you have a, a strong talent and a strong affinity for strategic, the strategic theme within Clifton Strengths, you're good at thinking big vision, big picture. You're good at coming up, what is the systematic strategy of how we will attack a problem? How will we build an initiative? How will we build a program? When you leverage your strategic, because you're in a moment where it calls for a step-by-step -step process, where it calls for some thoughtful, not only am I gonna solve the issue right now, but I also have to think two and three and four steps ahead. These are the types of things where you can leverage that context and be able to apply that not only in the world of being an educational leader and being an assistant principal, but then also being able to display that and being able to share and articulate that when you're in the interview. Because remember, you will not be able to show off those talents. You will not be able to show off those skills if you can't get past the interview. So no better place to showcase your gifts, your talents and your skills than in the interview and figuring out how to clearly articulate in those scenario based questions, how you would leverage your strengths. Another example, relator. If you are talented in the relator theme, you have the ability to bring people together. You have the ability to understand where people are coming from and then be able to leverage and understand how that can best benefit the organization, building that relationship, building that connection, seeing them for who they are. That's all kind of deep rooted in your relator. So when you get a question specifically about how you will build collaboration and relationships within an assistant principal interview, this is where you can pull that relator theme out. This where you can pull that strength out and then be able to clearly share in a real tangible and concrete way that will become authentic. It will be authentic because it is you and who you are. So think through the scenario based questions and think through what your talents and your strengths are and then be able to articulate those in the context of those questions during the interview. That's strategy number one. All right, as we move into strategy number two, uh, let's pause for a minute and share with me in the comments below. Do you know your top five? Do you not? Do you know your top 10? Do you know what your Clifton strengths are? Share that with us in the comments below. 
And we'll have more information that will be available for you in the description below as well if you need to get your assessment. If you need to take your assessment, you need to learn what your strengths are, there'll be information in the description below. But share with us in the comments below, what are your top five? What are your top 10? And let's move into strategy number two. All right, strategy number two on leveraging your Clifton strengths for your next assistant principal interview. And the second strategy is to align your strengths with the school's vision and needs. When you as a candidate are preparing for an assistant principal interview, it is critically important that you know what the school's about, you know what the community is about, and you know what drives the organization's culture. And you can find these things out by doing research, by pulling up the school's website, by going to the district's website, by looking through social media, but really digging in and understanding and learning what the actual vision and what the actual mission and the needs of the school are, that's gonna be you wanting to connect in an authentic way with the interview panel. And then also then being able to tie your strengths back to that. So what if the school is heavily focused on building relationships and building high levels of student engagement? This is a classic example of somebody who is extremely talented in positivity or woo to use their talents and gifts to share with the panel. This is how I would build bridges, build connection. This is how I would be one of the biggest and best advocates, ambassadors and cheerleaders for the school and for the direction of where we need to go. And I, with positivity and with woo, winning others over, I am really, really good at bringing more people aboard, galvanizing more support, galvanizing more commitments, building more bridges. This again is another opportunity when the panel asks you a question like, as an assistant principal on our campus, how will you help to build student engagement, community engagement, parent engagement? This is where you again, you dig in, you think about what are my strengths? What do I naturally do well? What am I talented in? And how can I leverage that to best serve the needs of my school community? And how can I do that in a high level leadership position, such as an assistant principal? So when I think about the, the vision and the needs of the school, and then I think about my talents and what my natural gifts are that I can bring to that, and I contextualize that around a scenario based question in the assistant principal interview, I've got the secret sauce to give a really, really good response. And again, get that panel leaning in and wanting to hear more and more and more from me, All right? So don't forget, strategy number two is really being able to understand how you align your strengths with the vision and the needs of the school site. Do your research and then bring it home with a real tight alignment to how you'll use your strategies based on the research you've learned about the school to enhance the school's vision and, their, and meet their needs. That's strategy number two. All right, let's move into strategy number three. And strategy number three of how we leverage our Clifton strengths for our next assistant principal interview is demonstrate how your strengths foster a collaborative school culture. Now remember, as an assistant principal, one of your main goals and objectives is to nurture, support, develop, and enhance the school's culture. As a leader, you have the ability to directly impact and directly affect the culture of a campus. So when we think about this again, in the context of leveraging our strengths, I'm thinking about strengths like developer. I'm thinking about strengths like empathy. These are strengths and talents that will allow us to build collaborative structures, collaborative environments, but also with a theme like empathy, we're in a position of leadership where people are looking up to us, they're looking to us for direction and they're looking to us for guidance. So in many cases, they're coming from a place of somewhat vulnerability because they don't know and they need information, they need guidance, they need direction. So we've gotta be able to tap into being empathy, empathetic, understanding, listening, inviting, supporting, just being compassionate. When we can think through that and be that, 
that's what we need in order to build this collaborative culture, this collaborative spirit. Furthermore, if we start to think about how we're actually really, really building uh, up our staff, the theme again of developer. Developer gives us the opportunity to really think about how do I create better systems? How do I create stronger teams? How do I go in and seek out the gifts, the talents, and the knowledge and the expertise of others through that developer lens to find gems, to find talent, to find diamonds in the rough all throughout our schools, all throughout our staff, to be able to build them up and ask them to help us build that culture. So again, let's put it back in the context of high stress, high anxiety interview. How do we again talk through the language of strengths and thinking through things like the developer strength, the empathy strength? How do we talk through those to help the panel understand that these are these talents, these 34 talents and these top five that I have, this is how I'm going to use them to make this school a better place. These are how I'm going to use these top five talents of mine to support the principal's vision, to support the principal's goals, to help the principal execute on the directives that they have, the big ideas that they have for the school. Again, being able to use this in the context of, they're not just abstract thoughts. What they are, they are a roadmap for you to be great. That's what your talents are. That's what your strengths are. So when we leverage them and talk about them that way, in a very real terms, tangible ways that you could use responsibility, arranger, command, any of these, when we start to think about how could we ma use maximizer in the context of the assistant principal interview and then to use them in real practice, that's when we are going to operate at a very, very high level. And that's when we're going to get panels that are going to say, we really want to hear more from that candidate. We really want to hear more from that person because they are the type of people that we want to bring into our organization. They're the types of folks that we want to lead. They're the types of people we want to see front and center, giving speeches, giving direction, leading professional development, engaging with parents, talking to the community. These are the types of people we're looking for. So don't be afraid to leverage your strengths. Don't be afraid to talk about them. I talk about mine all the time. Learn a relator, positivity, significance, and communication. Those are my top five. I talk about them. I live them. I breathe them every single day. And they've helped me all throughout my educational journey. And they can help you as well. So if you want to know more about Clifton Strengths, check out this video because this video is going to give you more information, more insights about the assessment. If you want more information about the assessment, coaching, mentoring information, find it in the description below. But this next video here is going to give you all the information you need to know about Clifton Strengths and the power it can give as it helps you be a better leader in education. We'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody.